Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is the fifth class in my mini series on abstract painting and in this class we're going to have a look at getting over the fear of playing. <laughs> now this is really really important. The play part of our painting really leads us into the direction of finding our own style and if we explore and experiment with different things, then it can really help us um, discover what we really like. Finding our own style is about finding what we like to do. What I might like to do could be completely different to what you might like to do. So it's important to use this play as um, a discovery of finding the things that you like and finding the things that you don't. So let's have a, a start on that. We've been already um, doing some play and loosening up and relaxing and getting into the zone. So what more can we do with that to um, increase our understanding and our knowledge and find our own voice? I just have to say the noise in the background, <laughs> the crickets outside, and there's nothing I can do to stop them, I'm sorry. But anyway, let's get started and see where we're going to go to next. Okay, but just before we begin this little exercise, I just want to show you something that might really fascinate you. We did a lot of play in the last um, video, and this was my little one that I did with the others. And you might say that this is really childish and, you know, all over the place. Fine. However, if you were to take um, a little frame, card frame, and just go over, say, some of the little areas, you see how interesting those little paintings can be. You could make up a whole series of these, and I've got another one here. You know, just take a little area and see how pretty they are. Now, <clears throat> It's really interesting when you do this because you break away from the whole thing and you just start looking at these areas. Now, in doing that, I could actually do a little bit more on top of this to make it even more interesting. You know, for example, I could come in with a little bit of black on here to give it some contrast and whatever I might do on here. Again, I'm not thinking, I'm just kind of going with it, seeing what might happen. So you can just play really spontaneously, okay? Then when you come to having a look at your card and see, uh, let's take this one, how different it is when you start sort of giving it little sections and how interesting it becomes. And suddenly you've got lovely little spontaneous, fun little abstracts. So bear this in mind because, you know, as it is now, well, you know, it's fun. But when we kind of focus down on it, we can make it really quite a pretty little abstract painting. I've got an array of these, um, different sizes. I've got a square one, this rectangular one. I've got a bigger one. I, I cut them out and see, you know, the bigger one, well, maybe it doesn't work quite so well as the little one. You know, the square one might work quite well. Where's that one gone? Uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> you put a little frame on that and you have a little set and it can be very pretty. So don't disregard these. I was talking to you about them before. There's always something that you can do to make it really interesting. So now let's move on to the exercise. And what I've done here is I'm on watercolour paper. This is quite thick watercolour paper and I've just divided it into four. And again, what we're going to do is explore possibilities of different things that you might want to try. 
you know, is it doing something with shapes and mark making or is it doing something more um, fluid? You know, that there's so many different ways you can be um, exploring what you like to do. And, and that's, that's the point. So, for example, here, I could take some water, put it in this first one, take a nice big brush, and uh, let's take this blue. I can be doing something totally different here with the water. I could blend it in with maybe some of the yellow. But this is different again to you know, what we were doing before. But this is the point. I want you to experiment and see what you enjoy, where you get your pleasure from, from painting. You know, I could then do some other things with this. Let's take um, a little bit of kitchen roll or cloth, whichever. You dab this in. Take it off, dab it back in again. You now I'm getting some nice, interesting effects. So this might be more your thing, you know, rather than doing what we've done before. But until you experiment, you won't know. So let's carry on a little bit with here. Let's put a bit of this, mix this with, on the brush with white. You know, that's kind of like a nice foundation for something and it's a different approach so <clears throat> in these four ones I want you to try different approaches what might work for you so for example uh, let's go on to this one um, let's make this really with a little bit of the black Let's mix that with a bit of the blue. So we're kind of trying out different things that might be of interest to us. Now we might decide that we're going to smooth that out a bit. So I'm taking my kitchen roll. I'm just dampening it slightly and seeing what might happen here. So there are different, so many different approaches which you can explore for yourself. So I've got something completely different there. Let's um, take this paint off here and then come back in, maybe do something pink. And it's different, a whole different way of, of experimenting. And this is what I want you to do in your play is to see what you enjoy. It's not about what I enjoy. I can help you with the skills of it. But at this stage, we're just looking at experimenting and playing and seeing, you know, different things that we can do and that we we get a kick from, that, that, that we want to do ourselves, not what anybody else is doing. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of different um, videos on mark making and layering and all this kind of thing, which is wonderful and they're great to watch. But you want to find your voice. You want to experiment for yourself what you want to do. And by playing and experimenting in this way, you can find out, you know, is that something that I'd like to do or not? Now, this is put a bit of water on here and so this playtime is incredibly constructive you know we're not looking for results necessarily at the moment we're just looking for ways of exploring um, possibilities and what we would enjoy to do so there are many different ways of approaching this and that's really what this whole process at this point is about is for you to discover you know what you like what you want to do so um let's just do something here and as you go things will lead you <laughs> in a path 
and say, God, you know what? I really like that. I'm going to do more of that. So again, just play with it, see what happens. Might draw into this. You know, I can do lots of interesting things in this playtime. So that's very different. Very different from this one. You can go back and do some other stuff in there. <laughs> But it gives us some different opportunities to do other things. So let's carry on with maybe another experiment. And I want you to try as many as you can to um, explore what you enjoy. So I'm going to go back into the black here. And then I'm going to do something, you know, similar to what we did before with the shapes. Drawing into it first. And this is something that you might like to do. It might be something that you absolutely don't want to do. So by experimenting in this way, you give yourself a chance to explore what you, what you want, what you want to express, what's important to you in your painting and how you want to how you want to go forward with it. So this is just some ideas. Again, very different. So we're looking at, um, you know, what would you call it? Expanding the boundaries <laughs> of, of um, possibilities. Let's do something um, with some grey here. very much more geometrical and um, different. Let's go in with some white in here. So explore, play, play without fear. Don't worry, it doesn't matter, you know, what you're doing. What matters is that you're experiencing something and discovering for yourself what you like. That's the whole point. You know, you want to express yourself, your unique self. So, you know, again, very different. Then let's come to this one. Now let's do something completely different again with this. What I'm going to do here is, if I can find my brush, where's a big brush? Oh, maybe I'll take this one. Here's a really big brush. I'm just going to dampen that brush down. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take the blue again because that's kind of quite nice. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to it as well. So what I might do with this, very different again, much stronger in, you know, I want to express something. And then maybe I go with a little bit of black. This is what I mean by playing, just seeing. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? Let's bring this down here. Nice big brush and, you know, more powerful, more uh, dynamic, not thinking about it, just, ah, you know, I might want to get rid of some of my anxiety. I'm going to shoot in and do something like this. So this is what play is about. It's about discovering different things that you might like to do and exploring possibilities. You know, when I come to this, I might then come back into it and do some other things. You know, whatever. <laughs> I want you to, 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 to let yourself go and discover different things using maybe different brushes, different um, textures, whether it's with water, whether it's straight, you know, really thick and solid, something more geometrical, and enjoy this process of exploring what you like to do. So I hope you found that helpful, and we're going to 
carry on in the next class and look at different um, tools that we can use to get different effects. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Oh, do leave me a comment. That would be great. Sorry, I forgot to say. <laughs> Tell me what you think about this process and what you discovered. You know, were there some colours that you really loved? Were there, was there a way that you really felt that you got in the zone? It would be great for you to you know, t tell me and tell other people who are reading because it's also inspirational. And obviously, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And to see more of my um, courses and things that I do and a two free downloads on my website. One is a little ebook on colour mixing and the other one is a print. So if uh, you'd like to go um, to my website of joyfayartist.com, the link's down below, um, you'll be able to pick up those. So enjoy this process. Let me know what you think. Okay, take care. Bye for now.